Hello and welcome to the Royal Victoria Docks beside the Thames in London, where in just a few moments time, something quite extraordinary is going to happen. There on the other side of the dock is the brand new Jaguar XF. And right now, nobody outside of Jaguar has seen this car before, ever. In just a few minutes time, you guys out there will be the very first in the world to see it. But first, the car is going to make its way across this cold, deep grey water on two tiny cables, just 34 millimetres wide. That's less than two inches for those of you not watching in metric or the width of your thumb. 18 metres above the water at its highest point, 240 metres from end to end. Nothing like this has been attempted before. Well, you can see in the distance the towering skyscrapers of Canary Wharf at the east end of the city of London, the world's largest financial centre. Now, anyone who's ever been near a skyscraper here in London or in New York or Shanghai knows that wind can play havoc with them. And it's wind that the team here are most scared of. You can also see four of the biggest mobile cranes in the UK, one on each end of the two cables. The tension they're required to put on the cable is enormous. The cables themselves are specially manufactured in carbon fibre to save weight, but we're still right at the edge of the operating range of what's possible here. Thankfully, and I don't think I'm giving away too many secrets here, the new XF is made of aluminium, so it's incredibly light itself. There are, of course, safety measures involved. And you maybe can see below the car a kind of high-tech keel. Think of it like a high-wire walker's pole. It's the only assistance our pilot will have as he navigates his way from one side of the dock to the other. And with that in mind, let's meet our team and especially our high-wire artist, stuntman Jim Dowdle, who has a lifetime of stunts behind him, not only on the set of films like Bond, but also Indiana Jones and the Bourne films. We normally say there's three things that we always see as fear. Water, falling from height and fire. You can't eliminate that risk factor. Anything can happen. There are so many finite and very delicate calculations that need to be done. The weight distribution of the car is critical. It will fluctuate up and down probably 100 kilos due to the wind. What's the wind? 9.6 average 14.2. This is one of those jobs where there's a lot of scientific equations and calculations and structural engineers behind it all, specialists in what they do. We're going round and round to try and make sure that we've got as many of the ifs covered. This is going to be very eye-catching and you won't forget it when you see it. So this has taken a long time to get ready. I'm hearing that Jim is happy and settled in the car. Conditions are as good as they're going to get. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. The hashtag is hashtag new XF for you to have your say on this. Enjoy. Over to you, Jim, and the brand new 2016 Jaguar XF.
seven, no lower. Okay, that's perfect, thank you. So that's it, 240 metres on two tiny little cables. Nothing like that has ever been attempted before. It's a world first and quite extraordinary. Congratulations to Jim and the whole team. We're going to catch up with them in just a moment. And congratulations to Jaguar and the new XF and to these men. Ian Callum, Design Director at Jaguar and Chris McKinnon, Product Marketing Director at Jaguar. And Ian, quite rightly, Jaguar is getting this fantastic reputation for these splendid and, and just mind-blowing launch events. Well, you know, we like to be different in a very British way, of course. And uh, not too long ago, we were flying the XE, little sister to XF, down the Thames in a helicopter. And not long before that, we were driving the X, uh, the F-Type um, 100 miles an hour to an audience in Hollywood, so it's fantastic. It is. I, I you know, can't even imagine what could possibly be coming next. But let's just say with this one, inspired by Man on a Wire, one suspects. Yes, it was actually. It turns out the film's got a real cult following within Jaguar. I can't remember who exactly came up with the idea the first time around, but it just gained support massively. Obviously, the guy in the film was a lot higher up, but he only had 60 metres to go. Here we went 240 metres. So just incredible uh, and, again, challenging convention. Ian, tell me a little bit more about creativity and agility, hallmarks of Jaguar and so important in this recent resurgence. Yes, agility and creativity are very much part of uh, the Jaguar lifestyle and uh, we've been hugely agile and hugely creative of course in the last 30 months. We've actually developed four new cars, two sports cars, the small sister to this car, the XE, and now the XF. 30 months, hugely prolific. The XF is, is a landmark car for you, and this is the second generation, so tell us about that evolution. Yes, I feel uh, hugely privileged to be part of it. We created the XF seven years ago, and it really was the start of a whole new car line. It's the second generation, and not many car designers get a chance to do the second generation of a car. And it really has evolved, and the car has an enormous amount of personality. And the first thing is to notice that the car is, um, is actually smaller than the previous one. It's shorter and it's lower. It doesn't look like it when you see it. It's hugely expressive in many, many ways. Um, the design cues itself are very simple and very pure. And of course, purity and simplicity takes a long time to develop. But what's, been, what's good is we've been able to develop on the past of the old one, work out what should be better. We've listened to customers and we've made the car even better today. Chris, the, the new XF is absolutely cutting edge in terms of engineering and technology as well. It really is. And it starts with this aluminium intensive architecture which leads the car to be 80 kilos lighter than the competition. And this also has enabled us to develop a car that is not only beautiful on the outside, but also cavernous on the inside with class-leading legroom and knee room. It's also allowed us to add a lot of feature and technology into the vehicle without compromising our target of class-leading efficiency. So not only have we delivered 104 grams, which is the best non-hybrid efficiency number in, in the segment, We've also managed to add technologies such as all-wheel drive with adaptive surface response, which can tell the difference between snow and gravel. We've got new all-aluminium powertrains, four-cylinder powertrains, that deliver over 70 miles per gallon. Uh, we've got uh, the F-Type supercharged V6 engine delivering 380 horsepower. We've also got a technology from Land Rover called all-surface progress control. In addition, we've got a state-of-the-art suspension system that delivers that true Jaguar combination of handling and a supple ride. And the new connected technology in this XF is quite exciting. You know, everybody has to be attached to everything all the time, don't they? All their tablets and, uh, and their phones. It really is. Um, when we went about designing this together with Intel, uh, we went about it the way a technology company would do, not a car company. And we really thought about the end user who are used to using tablets uh, and expecting the swift response and touch and, and, uh, and swipe uh, technology. And that's what we have with the InControl Touch Pro. It's based around a 10.2 inch screen. It has uh, quad core processors from Intel. Um, and it really delivers a number of 
unique features. For example, you can customize your own homepage, putting the, the, the content, same as you would on your smartphone, in your own home screen. Also, rather than calling it navigation, we call it guidance. If you don't use uh, the navigation when you're going to work, uh, for example, the car will still know your normal route to work and will guide you there and tell you if there's traffic in the way. So it'll actually help guide you through the journey. Once you're approaching a destination, we've got something called approach mode, which actually allows you to very quickly find uh, parking, for example. Also gives you a street view of the destination that you're coming towards. And my favorite one is the companion app, which allows you in the comfort of your home to enter your destination into the app, take it to the car, and then when you leave the car and you're walking to a restaurant or to the theater, it will guide you on your way. So some really groundbreaking technology. Thank you so much, guys. It's so exciting. And not very long now, of course, until this Jaguar joins the others on the road. My thanks, of course, to Ian and to Chris. And pass on my congratulations and all our congratulations to everyone at Jaguar. I'm delighted to say we now have the man himself. Jim Dowdle has extricated himself from the car, still in his safety harness here, though, Jim. Wow, Good morning. well done. Congratulations. Thank you. That was fantastic <laughs> to watch. What was it like to be up there? Uh, you know, I've been very lucky to be able to drive cars in some very silly situations. <laughs> That's probably one of the silliest. It was unnerving because you are getting a little bit of movement like that and then so on and so forth. And I think that when we got into the centre, certainly there was a moment there. Once you go from the down to the up and you mm. start the climb, that was always going to be were we going to be okay there? What's the most challenging part of this, the distance? Because 240 metres, that's a long way. And that, yes. that middle section, as you yes. say, when you're not, you know, you're nowhere near those harnesses. No, we'd originally tried it on cables. And then we went for this stuff called Dyneema, which is much lighter uh, and allowed us to do that. And of course, you've got the rigidity and the lightweight of the, of the Jaguar, which mm. is one of those things when I looked at it, I could see how the, the thing was put together on the monocoque. Mm. And that was what was actually inspired us to say, yeah, you know, we can do this. Now, with all your experience, the incredible things you've done, even you don't turn up on a morning like this and just drive a car across the Docklands here in London. You have to put a lot of planning, a lot of foresight into a stunt like this. And, and this has been a while in the making, hasn't it? We saw earlier on the, the yeah. film of you having a, having a look at how this was actually going to manifest itself. Six months, really, is what, when we first put the idea together yeah. and the meetings and the recce's and the... Uh, the planning of how we do it and then in the end it, when you do stunts if you lived in a perfect world pencils wouldn't have rubbers on them so we're constantly adjusting and doing it but in the end there's a little bit of you know. <laughs> and so, that's the bit you love <laughs> yeah that's it absolutely it's not a science what yeah. we do is you can get the guys with the water cool slide rules and all the business to say yeah this is going to work perfectly but in the end, there are elements of weather and... Mm. and, and well, conditions were great today. The car performed yes. magnificently. So did you, Jim. Unfortunately, I, I don't think you're going to get to drive off in that XF today. It's a shame, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know you enjoyed it, though. <laughs> I Thank did. you. Thank fantastic. you so, so much. Uh, well, let's have one last look, then, at what Jim and the new Jaguar XF have just done. Can we have a wind reading, please? Wind reading, 2.8 metres a second. So there you are, two things you've never seen before until now. A car travelling 240 metres on high wires across a deep water dock and the new Jaguar XF. If you want to explore some more, there's loads more on the new XF on jaguar.com. And don't forget your say as well, hashtag new XF. I hope we've made it worth your while joining us. Goodbye. <laughs>